So the joy about having a balcony garden and doing videos is that you're gonna hear cars, you're gonna hear children, you're gonna hear probably different things. Definitely the birds, which I personally enjoy. And you will hear my children as well. I kinda enjoy their voice. <laughs> so I have some baby carrots here that we're gonna repot into this $3 I got from Target. It's the most prettiest um, pale pink. Got two of them. So $3 from Target. And then I also got this um, ceramic pot from Target for $5 that I'm going to put plant um, flowers in. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so I'm mixing half compost, half soil into this pot for my carrots and give it a good mixing. So I'm mixing the compost and potting soil and mix as well as I can. Half compost, half soil. Now, I never like to, uh, and this is just my preference, I never like to fill the top all the way up um, because I want my plants to be able to get some type of shade but when it's like really hot and sunny just so the soil doesn't um, dry out too fast. However though, the, the how you, you get, the wider the top and so more space you have to plant. So I think I may just add just a little bit more. Here. One more scoop of compost. I'm always trying to stay neat. And the neater I try to stay, the messier I am. Let's get this. <laughs> Just a little bit more. I guess carrots would be different um, because, well, actually, no, it won't be because they go inside of y'all i just be talking sometimes <laughs> i just be talking <laughs> i'm so excited to see how everything comes along there are so many different um techniques you know and watching them all kind of get like overwhelming trying to figure out which one you want to do so i decided to just go with my Go with guidance from the most high, you know, like try to use common sense mixed with some of the things that I've learned and just go from there, you know. Y'all, I'm one of them women who takes forever to take the tags off of some things. Please excuse the dangling. Uh, <laughs> might as well keep them in the um soil that they are attached to. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I'll keep them attached to the soil that they are, because sometimes I like to loosen it up to, um, before putting them in my soil. And I'll almost loosen it up just so that I just don't like to send like shock to the uh, roots there. Too much so what I'm going to do 
is take some out. Yeah, that's much better. Like I got the dirt all in my nails. A lot of carrots in this house but I figured it'd be fun to grow some so maybe we'll start eating them. Yeah what is that a worm? <laughs> Eat them at the table. Gets the aphids off and get the dirt out of my nails. And then, it, you know, I could sweep up the table really easily with this too. Sometimes I'll just make the dirt go here where my potatoes, sweet potatoes and Just took a while to clean up all that soil that fell but here is the spot where our baby carrots are going to be right next to our slowly growing corn i think i killed it um by transferring it twice um so i'm gonna replant some more yeah they're like not growing anymore and they're next to i think these are green beans these are either green beans or cucumber. I think that's cucumber. So yeah. So I want to try something. I want to plant, plant my green bean, snap bean into a pot where my fiddle leaf tree is. So the story on this tree is that it died this winter. Well, I thought it did. We had like a little fake snowstorm and I did not bring my plant in the house and so then the next day I come out and all my leaves are spotted it look like they're diseased so I just end up picking all the leaves off and I was like am I gonna throw it out I'm like no let me see if it grows back in the spring and so the the leaves aren't growing on the actual stem anymore now Bottom. I'm guessing there's a new stem that's gonna be starting to grow out but um we just got to see what happens so yeah I am going to plant this snap bean in here just so as it grows it can like use these stems to grow up we're gonna see how this goes but um, I'm gonna add a little I'm gonna add some fertilizer in it just to make sure it has some food. I'm trying to fight. I 
against the um, the leaf roots. Hopefully it doesn't. But if it dies, I'll just start over in another place. If it thrives, then praise Yahuwah. Like, well, praise Yahuwah nevertheless, period. <laughs> new things and random things and just see what happens yeah there we go watermelons okay i need to clean this little area up over there so i just planted this catnip next to my bell pepper plants because i want to keep the aphids away um I don't see any on there today, which is awesome. I just want to make sure. So catnip is known to help um, with aphids. So <sighs> they're brother and sister, or sister and sister, brother and brother now. <laughs> I really have been enjoying um, balcony gardening. It's, it's so much fun and I get so much peace from it. And I find myself praying and talking to Yahuwah throughout the process of my work. Um, these romaine, I am pulling them up and I, I think I'm gonna start recording tomorrow morning. This morning, I am pulling up my romaine plants. Um, I think they're diseased and just like root rotted i don't know it i tried everything to try to keep these alive and they just won't so i will be just pulling them up r.i.p to the romaine and this is the newest one so i don't i don't i don't know maybe romaine is not for this balcony so I'm just gonna cut the roots off and put the leaves in the compost put that to the side and I'm going to um, nurture this soil and compost mix and then just plant um, other spring lettuce spring mix lettuce all throughout here Okay, so the leaf has grown longer, but it's not growing up. So I think I'm gonna just, yeah, there's mold in there. Oh yeah, root rot. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw these out and just start over. I need to organize, clean up more. It's a lot going on out here. Bringing like fungus and disease to my plant 
just gotta get this stuff under control. There's a cucumber playing over there. I don't wanna mess with that, so. There's fertilizer in here, some other stuff. I could just start a seedling, but I really just wanna try to grow right from the pot. I'm going to let it grow from. So I'll start by planting just a couple of seeds in here, and then I'll start some seedling on itself. some reorganizing and cleaning up and tending to all of our plants here. So beautiful. Let me see if I can get a good angle. <laughs> uh, this week I will do a garden tour of everything I have here. Here, but I wanted to come and just end this video with the update. I did some reorganizing. Some of my plants I felt needed more sun than others. Um, yeah, so I pulled out the potatoes and sweet potatoes from up underneath table here so I can get some more sun and just reorganize some things planted some marigolds it's hot today so I know I know they're loving this um, this weather I'm just waiting for the sun to come out more get these babies some sun now I did come outside to this this was doing so well yesterday i don't know what happened overnight i watered it um to see if it was just lacking some water but i think i mean i just don't know i, I don't know maybe I, I just i don't know but these cucumbers are doing great like these sprouted so fast I just planted them right in the soil and they, they are doing beautifully. So, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Try to hang on to these ones and see, no? So I'll see how they look tomorrow morning and I'll either just snip them off or I don't know. look at this bean. He's doing good, let's focus here, focus. This one is still growing kind of slow. I don't know, maybe I'll pull that up. That may have just, I don't know. But I just planted this one inside of the soil and it's doing way better than the seedling from an, you know, I am just gonna start planting because it's hot out and it's just like a wonderful season. 
um, and temperature outside now. I'm just going to plant, start um, sowing all of my seeds um, directly into the soil because something about seedlings, I think the transfer really stresses them out sometimes. So yeah, I just want to planting the seeds straight into the soil and this is the end of the video for today and um, see you later until next time Shalom.